All right, so we are gonna switch it up today a bit. Um, I was called to do this and I'm gonna just kind of flow with it. We're going to separate this instead of by zodiacs right now, I'm going to do it by generations. So this is gonna be for millennials. I'm doing millennials first. I was just feeling the millennials today. So if you fit in the generation of millennials, um, if you're just interested in the millennial generation, if you felt called to click on this video, maybe there's something in here for you or maybe somebody that you know. So for the millennials, what I'm getting right now, you can be any zodiac sign watching this as a millennial or interested in millennials. And uh, you guys are on a self-discovery journey, maybe even your brothers and sisters Generation X or anyone you know in the Generation X, you may even be a Generation X watching this or a Xennial, but um, I'm definitely getting like a huge metamorphosis happening for you, a huge transition, a huge change. Uh, it seems to be that you've had to kind of shift a lot. Maybe you're shifting perspectives, maybe you're shifting your opinions, your ideas, your changing a lot. Maybe you're changing the people that you hang around. Maybe you're wanting to change an environment uh, that you're in, that you've been in. You're definitely changing your mind on a lot of things. It just seems like there's, um, it's like the past is meeting, the present is meeting, the future is meeting what is even a time frame right now. You may not even know what time frame you're on. You may even be like, what, um, what time am I on? You may even feel like a time traveler, if you know what I'm saying by that, you know? Not that you're actually a time traveler, but you may feel it at times. Like you're you're able to kind of fit into this category and, and at times you can understand this category. You may even feel like you understand a lot of different generations. Like you're kind of a mix of all the generations. I'm not saying you've always felt like that, but during this time, if you resonate with this message, somebody here in the millennial generation a group of you is feeling like uh, I can relate to all generations and I also have a side of me that doesn't relate to any of it you know you may even feel like you're <laughs> like you're kind of a mixed bag of a little bit of everything <laughs> like you're a, we talked about checks mix not long ago like you're kind of like a checks mix of everything and this can highly highly affect you hear the door closing exactly this can highly affect areas of your life like love uh, whatever that is right um, and I mean love in the romantic sense as in the things that we've been doing, the thing that we've been doing here on this planet, the thing called relationships and love. It's changing for you how you see it. It's been changing. You may even feel like a fish out of water. We're going to call it that. A fish out of water. A fish out of water. Big fish, little pond, or little fish, big pond, whatever it is, you know what I mean? I'm hearing flat earth, round earth, you may be even kind of on the precipice, like maybe, you know, you're, you're uh, this isn't for everybody, but you're seeing it as like, no, this is flat earth, but it's also, it's like both, it's a mixture of both, it's kind of like a little, like a dome, like a dome, right, like an eyeball, when you look at an eyeball, it's like, I don't know, but not really though, it's almost like there's this flat part of it, and then it is round, I'm not saying I believe either way, this is just what I'm picking up on in this message. It kind of is like a dome. It's like both. It's like both, right? Some of you may be like, it's a little bit of both. It's a little bit of flat. It's a little bit of round. Or maybe you believe in one or the other, but you've changed. Maybe you used to be a round earther and now you're a flat earther or vice versa. Maybe you don't give a shit about any of it. Maybe you're like, I don't care either way. You definitely don't care pol politically, some of you, or you did at one time, possibly for some, but that's changing too. Or you may be like, um, I, uh, I don't resonate with any of it. It's all a bunch of hogwash, hogwash. You're definitely changing your diet too. Your diet is changing. Maybe it's changing because you just can't trust the food, but maybe it's also changing because, you know, as your frequency changes and your energy changes and your mindset and everything around you is m morphing, uh, so does the food that you want to eat and you have food aversions and you're like, Ugh. you know, you lose your taste for things, not just food, but people you know, uh, spirituality, you're losing your taste for that. Some of you, you're kind of like trying to find your niche, but at the same time, you're like, I don't really have one. I don't want one. I just kind of want to flow. And everywhere I flow, I find, uh, fragments of things that are, uh, just like, it's like, uh, viruses in it. 
like a computer programming. It's like every area that you flow into, you know, be it be it uh, you know relationships, romantic or not, platonic. Um, religion, spirituality, whatever, every every avenue that you flow into and you catch yourself into a corner, you're like, oh, there's fragments, there's little viruses in it, you know? And you're seeing all these things and it's a lot. It can be a lot to take in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you're just like, boom, like you're having like all these realizations and at the same time requiring a lot of time to uh, regroup because it can be overwhelming. So you may take a lot of uh, time to yourself or you're needing that, whether you're getting it or not, because we live in a fast paced type world and that's the way that it's really designed is to keep you busy, 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 keep you needing to stay busy. Otherwise you can't survive, you know, but then, but then, but then are you really surviving or you're just surviving here on this spherical flat or both of it planet, but really you're not surviving because your soul is exhausted because you haven't had any enough, you haven't had enough time to be able to take to yourself. Or maybe you're having to like force that, but then enforcing that, then it affects another area of your life. Maybe like um, money and things like that. There's a lot of noise. There's a lot of distractions. There's a lot of things going on. Uh, definitely a lot of distractions in the world around you. You may even be seeing things like that, right? We're just spitting out the words. You may be looking back, especially like sitting back actually, and you're kind of looking at things in the world like, wow, there's nothing but distractions. This is a distraction and this is a distraction. I've just been one big ass distracted, you know, my whole life. I've just been distracted. Mm -hmm. You're definitely wanting to change uh, your reality. You're welcoming it. Whatever it is, anything is better than uh, kind of just whatever you've been experiencing here. I wouldn't say you're depressed. It may come off to others as you're depressed or you're withdrawing or you're isolated at times or you're, uh, you shut down, you shut off. But that's not necessarily true. Some of you are also, and I've been talking about this a lot, some of you are neuro neurodivergent. You either know you are or you're finding out you are or you're discovering it or you will here in the near future. And there's things about uh, just, just uh, you know, there's things about this existence and reality that may come off to others as perhaps you just don't fit in and you're like, well, I don't. I don't get what the hoopla is. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get what even I had the hoopla about. I, I don't understand, like, you know, um, I'm not sad. I'm very much um, happy to be here. I understand life could be... 10 times worse and some people have it that way and it's awful but also um I mean at times I do think back and I'm like well too bad that my mother didn't opt for that abortion you know what I'm saying even though you're not really feeling that way you're not feeling sad but you're just kind of like what the fuck you know what I mean like uh, we should be we should be given a choice I'm hearing we should be given a choice or too bad our parents didn't knock on their womb or whatever and say hey you know do you want to come here because I'm wanting to bring you here because I happen to love uh, the other parent or maybe they didn't maybe it was a oops maybe you guys were an oops some of you were cesarean babies some of you were cesarean babies I'm not saying that if you were a cesarean baby you were an oops but I'm picking up on a cesarean baby here but either way it's like oops you know whether you were an oops or you weren't I was an oops it's like, uh, you know, don't you just wish that they would have knocked or that they could have and been like, hey, do you want to come here? And your soul may have been like, yeah, I'm going to sit this one out. I'm going to sit this one out because if I knew then what I know now, <laughs> what the actual fuck, you know, you're kind of going through like a what the actual fuck. Yeah. Fish out of water. Just kind of like, what is this? Some of you, there's something going on with the eyes the eyes because I can't I can't help but look down at this dome looking thing you know earth here flat earth round earth both whatever you believe in I'm just channeling here it's like uh, yeah there's something going on even with the digestive system maybe even there's like a connection there even though you wouldn't think there would be a connection of course I'm definitely not a doctor but I'm getting something to do with the eyes maybe migraines maybe vision problems some sort of you know seeing I'm not saying seeing things but actually seeing like colors you may be even thinking like, I need to get my eyes checked. I need to get my eyes checked. But it's like some sort of connection being made here. And then I'm getting something to do with like, I don't know, something to do with the digestive system. Cause I'm also seeing this as a belly. But I don't see it as a pregnant belly. I see it as kind of like a bloating or just like having issues going back, tying that back to the food here, having food aversions. Maybe there's certain things you're realizing you just can't eat cause it bloats you. 
It bloats you, it causes discomfort in your stomach, it causes excess gas, it causes either constipation or loose bowels. It causes, maybe it's your nerves even. Somebody's got a lot of anxiety here, feeling like kind of wound up, wound tight. You may be even feeling like a lot of it, you gotta, you gotta kind of hold a lot back. A lot is in like what you really wanna say because you feel like a fish out of water. Like, you know, damned if you do, damned if you don't kind of situation. Like, uh, I don't know, it's almost like I'm seeing like military now. It's like somebody here waiting on the call, like waiting to be called from the universe or whoever you believe in, your creator to be like, hey, wh where do you want me to go from here? Kind of waiting on a, not necessarily a sign, but like a command. You're waiting on your higher self to give you a command on what step to take. And you're just kind of having to flow with it. Because honestly, at this point, what do you do? <laughs> what do you do? That's what I'm getting for millennials, right? Or zennials or whoever tapped into this message. I feel like I've got a, I've got a mixed bag here that is tapping into the mixed bag of millennials. Because there's just kind of this energy of, um, whoa. I see somebody like sitting back, I'm getting a vision now of somebody laying back, like they're going outside to, I, I wanna say enjoy the weather, not necessarily lay out, but just kind of enjoy the weather. And um, it seems like it's just a, it's just nice weather well, when they're going out and they're going out to lay down in these lounge chairs and they put their arms back behind their head and no sooner do they start to find a comfortable position and it starts to pour. It's pouring and it's raining. It's like, well, the forecast didn't say this today. And it's like, well, you just can't even rely on the weather. You can't even rely on the weather. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you no sooner make a move, you no sooner get comfortable and whoop, change, you know, change is occurring, change is happening. Something's here, something's there. You've got this, you've got that and this and that. And it's like, wow. Um, I think I'm gonna sit this one out, George. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit this one out, but you can't sit it out because you're a part of it, right? Do you guys feel like that? Like kind of like a um, turbulent weather. Like there's just, you just brace. You just, you just kind of gotta brace, but then at the same time find the, uh, the, the, the energy to be able to flow with all of it, and there's just constant metamorphosis, constant change. It is like when you're pregnant and you can't find a comfortable position and you no sooner find a comfortable position or the perfect pillow or the cold spot or you know you've just got you got your boob propped up on the pillow you know for those of you who have those you got you got heavy breasts or you got breasts here you know you prop it up on the pillow you got it pressed in between you whether it's a body pillow or a pregnancy pillow and you're just kind of like oh it feels good and then you're just you just got to get up you got to pee or um i don't know you got to get up and unlock the door. You got to get up and do something for a child or children. Or you got to answer the phone. Or you got to turn positions because your ears hurting. Or yeah, I don't know. Something happens. And you're just like, damn. I thought it was comfortable, but I'm not. I thought I wanted this, but I don't. You know, changing it up. So that's what I'm getting. I didn't even set a, a timer. I was gonna set a timer, and then I was like, why? Why would I set a timer? Because this is my first time doing this. I'm a new baby, right out of the womb. There's something to do with birth here, but I'm not getting anyone actually pregnant, although there could be millennials giving birth, getting pregnant, things like that, having babies later in life. But um, I'm, I'm not getting that fully for everyone here. It feels like giving birth to a new you. You know, like you always feel like you're starting over. You know, you can never get too comfortable. There's always something new. Even if you are getting older, it's like, I'm getting older too. What, what, uh, what generation is Stevie Nicks? Landslide. Yeah, exactly. That's what this life feels like. It's just like one big ass <laughs> landslide, right? <laughs> I'm hearing Landon. Landon or coming in for a Landon. All right. What, what generation is Stevie Nicks? Also, guys, notice something different. I've done away with the nails. Millennials alike. Nicks, 72 has transcended generational divides, shape-shifting through time like some kind of gothic fairy godmother. Stevie Nicks performs live at the Oakland Coliseum in 1977 with Fleetwood Mac. Okay, so beloved of uh, baby boomers and millennials alike. This is not really telling me what she is, but I'm thinking she's a baby boomer. I don't really know, but either way, it says she's transcended. That's you. It's like she can kind of fit different generations, different eras, although she is her physical body was born into one but it's like a, a lot of different people can resonate with her that's a millennial 
a millennial here, at least for this message I'm picking up on, uh, you may not feel like you resonate with everyone. You can kind of understand different parts of everyone, but they don't all understand you. You're very misunderstood. You're very, yes, I hit the nail on the head. People don't get you. You definitely don't feel understood. Even people that think that they understand you, they, they don't get you. They may know you, but they don't know you. You know what I mean? Because like you're constantly transforming. You're transcending. Just like Stevie Nicks here, uh, transcended generational divides, shape-shifting through time like some kind of gothic fairy godmother. <laughs> That's you. You're like, I'm, ch I'm channeling her because you're taking on the energy. Uh, you resonate with um, Stevie Nicks energy, even if you don't realize you do. Maybe now you do. It's kind of that type of identity where it's like you, you, you get a lot of different types of people. You can understand where certain generations went right and where they went horribly wrong, even your own. And then, uh, but, you know, but, but you can connect, but you don't connect. You know what I mean? You're just kind of watching it all happen, like tiny little positive aspects and negative aspects of little coded viruses in every little generation like computer programs. Does that make any sense? And then meanwhile, people who get you and then people who don't get you and people who think they got you but they don't really got you and then people who don't get you at all. I don't think that you came here to be understood. I think that's, that's the key here. I think that that's why I was supposed to do this message hell, I don't know. I mean, right? Do we know? I guess we don't. I guess it's just like wing it. Somebody with feathers here and wings, or actual like chicken wings, I'm saying chicken wings. I'm gonna do chicken wings, pizza places. Wow, she's laughing. She's laughing. I think I have a little pterodactyl in here, a little pterodactyl. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do a dinosaurs or something. Birds, a ancient birds, emphasis on ancient birds, but anyway. So yeah, I'm picking up on uh, Stevie Nicks here. But just that type of energy of millennials right now kind of in the energy, whatever zodiac sign you are, just kind of feeling like, whoa. Whoa. You may be even hearing from more generations during this time where the millennials are kind of wanting to step back a little bit, be a little quiet, quieter during this time. It's because that's what's going on. This is what's going on. Because uh, you may even see a rise of Gen X during this time or in the near future, and then a rise of possibly Gen Z and maybe even Gen Alphas. Uh, baby boomers seem to kind of be laying low a bit, um, but not as much as millennials. Like, you know, yeah, you may hear from the millennials every now and then a little here and there, but it's only because we like have to. You know what I'm saying? Or we feel like we have to, or it's like I'm hearing make an appearance, but then it's just kind of like, I'm hearing white noise, it's just kind of like, mm, and that's because we're just taking it all in. We're just kind of withdrawing, stepping back, observing it all because we're like, wow, <laughs> wow, whoa, whoa, wow. Anyway, um, she's having fun and I think we got the message. We got what we needed. I'm glad we did this. I felt like we needed it. I don't know who's coming next. I don't know which generation we're gonna pick up on next, but I'm hearing, load your guns. I'm seeing GI Joes. All right, it's gonna be Generation X. Generation X. I'm hearing G.I. Joe's. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Generation X. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and channel that one because we're picking up on it. So I'm going to go. We're going to get Generation X next. And let me know how you guys like this. Let me know how it, um, how it resonated with you. Let me know if it kind of hit a chord, if you will. All right, talk to you later. Bye.